Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. We're not talking about some weird mind voodoo from your crazy neighbor or just wishing on the first star you see every night, no. We're talking about today's sponsor, Fume, and they look at the problem in a whole different way. Fume is an innovative and award-winning device. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all-natural delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. I'm a huge fidgeter and I find myself reaching for my Fume all the time, especially while editing videos like this one. And I was not expecting to enjoy the flavor so much, and it's nice to reach for this instead of a bad habit. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com slash MIB or scan the QR code and use code MIB to get 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code MIB to save an additional 10% off of your order today. Now enjoy today's awesome video. Flight time! Yay! Well, what are these? Why are these? I'll get to that, but first I need to play with myself. I mean, MIB plushie! Yeah, this is the official MIB plushie made by Gimme Swag, and in a moment I'll tell you when pre-orders open so you can snag one too. I have to say, this is much better quality than I was mentally prepared for. I was ready for like, carnival quality, but this is really soft and the material feels thick. Look, he's got my sneakers, some jeans, he's got my hoodie, he's even got the hoodie strings. The hoodie pops down. To show his gator head. You can even lift the shirt up to see the t-shirt. Look, just like this. Look at my dummy. Pre-ordering officially opens June 16th. There is a link in the description I want you to use to sign up for the mailing list and you'll get that pre-order notification. If this goes well, there may be variant colors in the future. Other characters like maybe clickbait. And soft vinyl figures, which I really hope happens. Getting an MIB plushie also supports the channel, so it's a great way to show that you love what I do. This is the one thing I never imagined I'd get to show on a playtime. A toy of myself. I hope you sign up for the email list using the link in the description. Anyway, let's talk about Titan Tech. As of this video, the license to make toys for Godzilla vs. Kong belongs to Playmates. And I'm not talking about collectibles and stuff, I'm talking about toys. The cheap plastic stuff for kids to knock around. Playmates made a variety of characters and variants inspired by the movie. I have a few myself. Here's a skull crawler, and here's a warbat. But then at some point, someone at Playmates went to town on a mountain of cocaine, and they released the Titan Tech figures. Target exclusives of Godzilla and Kong that can transform into... Godzilla and Kong. But with tech! Why? Who knows? The packaging doesn't offer much beyond the basic lore, but the implication is that the tech has something to do with Monarch. Monarch fitted these guys with exoskeletons and armor. Maybe the Godzilla and Kong fight bored them, and they gave the monsters gear to make it more interesting. These toys are bonkers, so naturally I had to get them. With Monarch's incredible Titan tech armor, they transform, reconstruct, reshape to make them nearly invincible transformed and ready for battle. You might have noticed that these ads are voiced by a strapping young man. Titan Tech Kong and Titan Tech Godzilla. And here he is again in the toy transformation tutorials. After you remove Godzilla from the packaging, snap on his tail. Then, transforming Godzilla into a monarch mega monster is easy and fun. In my day, Godzilla toys were made of pure lead and their eyes lit up from the mercury. There's a lot to do to transform these guys. It's not hard. In fact, it's pretty intuitive. But there's a lot to do. And I won't lie, there's an intense body horror element to this that distracts me from the whole thing. Pull out the blades on the shins. Finally, a Shin Godzilla that lives up to his name. 
All right, let's check this out. I do like a jet black Godzilla toy, and I really enjoy these dorsal plates. We'll just put his tail on here. Hey, hey, we're not transforming yet. Godzilla. Normal Godzilla. I mean, you can see some parts that will transform, like this isn't gonna be mistaken for a standard Playmates Godzilla toy, but it's got the silhouette right, and it's not too bad. We've got jaw articulation, articulation in the arms, the legs move, and the tail twists. But whatever, let's transform it. The schematics. The schematics here. The schematics. Look at the schematics. First, you snap them like a wishbone. Ah! So that's what's inside Godzilla. All those anatomy illustrations were full of baloney. Oh god, you split the other side and it just looks like I broke this thing. This is hilarious. You take the stuff that's in his body out of his body, like the dorsal plate protectors, so Kong can't break one off and make another axe. You're supposed to snap these together over his dorsal plates, and honestly, this is the most time-consuming part of the transformation. All over his body are these little parts that spin to reveal little mech parts. I'm not sure if Godzilla is supposed to be a cyborg, or if this is just armor going over his skin. It's easy to forget some, or miss them completely if you're not using the instructions. The part that disturbs me the most is this piece of skin that you rip off, and then you put up by his head. So he looks like he's got a popped collar of flesh. He's got these blades or buzz saws in his legs and in one arm, because he's taking a page from the Book of Gigan. And here is a full transformation Godzilla, before and after. I dig that the mech parts are blue, it's a nice contrast to the black body. And he looks mostly cool. Again, it's got a very exoskeleton armor feel. These parts here really disturb me though. Alright, let's take a look at Optimus Primal over here. Wait, is this Kong? Let's see. One, two, three. Yep, three slashes. This is legally Kong. Same as Godzilla, looks mostly okay in normal form. Even slightly better than Godzilla, I'd say. Great arm articulation. They actually go up, down, and out. Legs move. That ass. The schematics. The schematics here. The schematics. Look at the schematics. Let's hear what old man Withers has to say. Transforming Kong into a monarch mega monster is easy and fun. Split his body open at the shoulders. Look at this guy just normalize gorilla body horror. That's terrifying. Let me try that. Uh! Yeah, so Kong actually has two heads, and you flip his body around, and then pop the tech head up. You know, the head where Kong has sunglasses on. And a headset, with a microphone! What is he, a gamer? Is he working at a customer service center? What possible reason could there be to give Kong a headset? Funny thing is, I can get the sunglasses, like, things like Godzilla's heat ray are bright. Gotta protect those eyes. But the microphone, man! Operators are standing by to fling poo at you. Gotta have that Monarch logo on him, because Monarch is all about that branding. You can actually extend Kong's arm length slightly, like he's a 1990s Reed Richards action figure. So I guess this does imply he's sort of a cyborg? Like Godzilla, Kong's got all sorts of switchable parts down his arms and legs. And just like Godzilla, it's easy to miss one. I don't think I knew about this hand switch until actually making this video. Kong the Monarch, Kong the Monarch, ooh ooh, ah ah, over. Kong's got some alternate battle axe, it looks like it came from the planet Eternia. It takes some force, but he can hold it well. You can also snap it onto his back, so it looks like he's holding his axe on his back just by sheer magic. Alright, here's Kong's before and after. And here's Godzilla and Kong together, looking like they're about to kick off their 1980s Metal World Tour. So, looking at these figures, I can't help but think of some of the Godzilla Trendmasters toys from the 90s. Like, the Snap-On Armor toys. And more specifically, these remind me of my Doom Island Mega Mutation Godzilla and Destoroya. These even have some same transformations that work exactly the same. Although, with the Doom Island guys, the transformations are strictly meant to be organic, while over in the Monsterverse, they're just sprouting mecha parts from within. It's like fighting Mechagodzilla gave them a virus that slowly overtakes their body from the inside out. 
I mean, that makes more sense than, oh, Monarch did this. I mean, how? Why? Godzilla and Kong are still fighting each other. It's not like they're suited up to go on an adventure in outer space. I would buy those figures too, though. I would buy these guys in, in space costumes. Here are Titan Techs next to Skullcrawler and Warbat. All right, time to turn them back. Turning your gamer Kong back to regular monkey is easy and fun. Just close all these doors like so, twist his head so it doesn't look like he's on the internets. Last time I was on the internets, I got scammed by someone saying he's with the IRS, and I lost all my money. But it's okay. Today I got an email saying I won a sweepstakes. I just gotta send them a gift card to cover taxes, and they'll send me all my m Done. I find it easier to transform Kong back and forth than Godzilla. Not that Godzilla's hard, I just get a little stuck on a few more spots than I do with Kong. It is kind of impressive how easy they are to transform. I remember 80s Transformer toys that were harder to transform than these guys. Yeah, you guys know me. You know I like this stuff that's really outside of the box. I hope we see more of it. I'd love to see what a Titan Tech King Ghidorah would do. Really, I just want to see a MonsterVerse Mecha King Ghidorah. That's really what I'm getting at here. What do you think about the Titan Tech toys? Let me know in the comments below what you think of transforming Titan Tech Godzilla and Kong. Let me know if the body horror disturbs you too. And don't forget to sign up for that mailing list for an MIB plushie. Till next time. Thank <laughs> you.